Hey everyone, it's Joe, aka the Trash Bandit. We have uh, some thrifting finds to show you, as well as what sold over the weekend. Most of this weekend, we took off uh, Saturday. We, my daughter had two soccer games, so we were busy all day Saturday. Sunday, we went to Hershey Park, so we were busy on Sunday. So pretty much a family weekend. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into what we uh, found thrifting on Friday, and then also what sold over the weekend. Okay, I got my laptop out here and I'm gonna post a YouTube YouTube video. Insert card. Insert card? How do I get on the internet? Oh, this thing's from 1987. I don't know. Okay, so this is a really cool 299 Talking Whiz Kid toy. The box is in not so great of shape. But I love finding stuff like this. When I saw this on the shelf, I just couldn't believe it. It is so cool. Uh, you know, I like technology, and, you know, this is something that just blows my mind that it was there in 1987. So, but let's take a look at, um, they want us to put a card in, so we'll do a basic uh, addition. Okay, so we'll just key in 52, enter. All right. Yes, you are right. What is 62 plus 3 equal to 6, 5, 65? <laughs> yes, you are right. What is 13 plus 5 equal to so these things have these cards with these barcodes on and it must read the barcode as you're putting it putting it in um so definitely definitely really cool okay so the nice the, the great thing is is i have the, the whole pack of cards all 50 cards are there uh i have the power cord uh it also runs on batteries but this the battery compartment is like brand new uh so this thing let's turn it off this thing you can close it up and I mean it's got a handle to carry it this thing is pretty cool it's in great shape I've got all the cards I've got the power adapter I've got the box which is in uh, you know not the best of shape but it surprises me to see how much this is selling for um, complete and working right here $75 plus $10 shipping on October 8th uh, and I have everything that's in that picture except for dang it. I don't have the directions. I don't have the instructions uh, This one here uh, Everything except for the instructions $44.99 and $23 and 15 cents shipping. So that's like $65 So I mean, I, I'm, I'm just I'm stoked It's $65 for something that I paid $2.99 for I actually thought that this pan was gonna be the find of the day when I did my short video but I tried cleaning this up and I didn't get it very clean and I think it's not going to bring as much as I was hoping. I was, it might only bring $30, maybe $25 uh, in the condition it's in. I could probably spend more time cleaning it, but I need to get some better cleaning supplies uh, for that type of pan. But at any rate, I'm just going to list it the way it is. Some of the, it's got some non-stick on it and some of the non-stick is coming off. So that's not the best uh, scenario. But at any rate, I think this is going to be the best find, uh, you know, for uh, maybe fifty to sixty dollars, something like that, plus shipping. So yeah, the really cool, cool find. And then the other uh, items that we got today were these uh, pennants, uh, and there's all different uh, baseball pennants in here. We got New York Yankees, Florida Marlins, Pittsburgh Pirates. And these are all from 1998 and 1999. Uh, Boston Red Sox, Fenway Park, St. Louis Cardinals, Philadelphia Phillies. We got the Little League World, Se World Series. That's uh, in Williamsport, 1999. We got the Hershey Wildcats. That looks to be uh, soccer. And then we got 
uh, Cleveland Indians. Uh, some of the Indians uh, ones are going for a little bit of money, and I don't know if that's because I, I I don't know much about baseball, but I think they were talking about changing the name. Maybe they did. I don't remember. Um, so that that might be a little more valuable. And then uh, the Baltimore Orioles. So we have all these, and I looked them up, and most of them don't don't seem to be bringing more than five to six dollars or less. But they're hard to find the exact ones. Like I've looked at, like I bet only found like two out of all these that are actually 100% matches. The rest of them didn't match. They were different pennants. So I think what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to list them uh, as an auction. I'm going to list each one individually in a uh, auction style listing so that uh, I paid a dollar ninety nine for each of these. So I'm going to list them for I'm going to say two dollars and 49 cents and plus shipping so if if i sell it for 249 i'll probably break even or a little just a tiny bit of profit but if for some odd reason they they get into a bidding war or they go up then i'll make more money so you know i'm just going to take the chance on those just try to get my money back and see if i can get any more so do an auction style and yeah see what happens so that's what we're going to do with those i'm going to ship these between two pieces of cardboard taped together I believe I think is my plan so and I'll put do not bend on them and uh, ship them out that way I think I was looking at how some other people list theirs and, and that was how they were kind of approaching it some of them were approaching it in that manner so that is what we f got today at the thrift shop I actually also got these Mike and Ike's uh, earbuds I picked them up for 99 cents uh, they had a whole bunch of them. I just grabbed one. I thought it's always nice to have an extra set of earbuds laying around. Um, my kids always need them or something, and you know someone's breaks. So I just thought uh, I'd have an extra pair around. So those are for us. So that's what uh, we got thrifting, and we'll uh, show you what we sold here coming up in a second. Okay, before we jump into what sold, I'll just mention that I did get my new scale, um, and I'm extremely happy with it. So I got an Accutech. Uh, it's a 110 pound unit and let's see if there's a model number on it to share with you guys yeah so it's model number W-8580-110B dash dash and this has the remote uh, you know readout and also you know, it has the plug that you can plug it into the outlet, um, or it runs on, or can you can use batteries in the back, which I'm not using batteries. So I'm going to tell you a few things about what I like about this scale. First, I'll just say that I went with a larger scale that, that did like 440 pounds, which I'll probably never need that. And I bought a little Macari, and the guy had no idea what he was selling. And I bought it, and I, I shouldn't have went with it because it turns out that it's great for priority mail, but it's not good for first class. So the larger scales, um, like the 440-pound ones, don't do well for under a pound. They don't they don't have 0.1 ounce accuracy. They have like I think like a half a half a pound accuracy or something like that. I forget what it is. The exact the 0.1 point one pound and that's different than 0.1 ounce so um so it's important to know that if you're buying a scale so if you guys any of you guys are shopping for scales um actually when i i was looking at the one that the cincinnati picker recommends because they have they uh, a couple of those guys use the same scale and i went to his link on his page and he had a, a affiliate link to the scale and i went to that and it was on ebay and it was a uh, accutech the same same as this, AccuTech, but it was a the 400 and some pound model. And right on the auction, the listing on the auction, it says not good for first class mail, uh, only good for you know priority mail. So if it, it what that's telling me is is it's not accurate below one pound, uh, accurate enough for for first class uh, rate rate the rates and the different breakdowns. So. I watched a couple of his videos because he's recommending that scale and I'm like, how's he getting away doing that? So I watched a couple of his videos and here he's got two scales. He's got one for the, the one he's recommending, but he's also got a smaller scale 
that he uses probably for priority uh, for first class mail. So when he got something small, he uses a small scale. And I think he's got something big, he uses the bigger one. But for me, I'm never going to ship anything out probably more than 110 pounds. So after a little bit of research, I decided on this scale. It's the Accutech, which is a good brand. And it is accurate for first class and priority mail up to 110 pounds. So it gives me everything that I need in one scale. So that was what I wanted. I did not want two scales. Uh, I don't have enough room for two scales. I just wanted one scale for first class and priority mail. So that's what I got. And this is so far, it's great. When I first turn it on, it automatically goes to pounds and ounces, which I love. The, the ones that I had before that I got, it did not. I had to change the mode every time. So this does exactly what I want just by hitting the on button and it and it's accurate i tested it against my other scale so perfect i would recommend this scale uh it also folds up if you want to put envelopes in you can stack envelopes in this way uh so that's an option or i'll probably just use it leave it down all the time and it'll be you know used just as a scale to put to put items on so yeah it's going to be perfect for what i need and the on off button is not on the side and it's not going to turn off if i turn it on it stays on so mine always turned off on me and i'm always trying to turn it on and i have to use two hands to turn it on so just it's this is just a great upgrade for me it's going to be a perfect perfect scale for what i need so just wanted to mention that if you guys are looking for a scale a lot of youtubers use accutech um, some of them, like I said, use the bigger model, which which you have to be careful with that one because it does not work great for first class mail. So um, just want to put that out there. All right, so let's go ahead and look at what's sold. So we have uh, two items that are going out today. Uh, we have the uh, all clad pan that we just got yesterday. We accepted an offer on that for seventy six dollars. Um, it's a little lower than I wanted to take, but since I didn't have the lid and there was a few scratches on it, I just decided that, you know, $76 for a pan that I paid $5 for and selling it in the same day, uh, or under 24 hours is phenomenal. So I just went ahead and took the sale and we're going to ship that out, to, out tomorrow morning. And then we also sold the vintage Milton Brandley Strategio uh, board game parts, just 66 pieces to those, for 6.99 plus shipping, so 11.68. So the the guy the the guy with the pan it was 76 plus shipping. He's all in at 103 dollars and seven cents. So that's a total of 114 dollars and 75 cents. Um, I have another sale that came in. For some reason they did not pay for it yet um, but I'm assuming they'll pay tomorrow and I'll get that shipped out tomorrow so paid in awaiting awaiting payment so $114 okay and that one is $17.99 it's a two-story escape ladder um, for a fire escape ladder total 30 37 with shipping all right so $30 and 37 cents on top of 114 30 dollars 140 144 140 yeah like one like 145 dollars in sales today so that's probably like the most the largest day i've had so far in, in uh in ebay since i've been doing this in the last uh last maybe month or so month and a half something like that uh so yeah so i'm happy to see that uh you know my goal would probably be right now two hundred dollars a day in sales which is which you know is going to be hard to do um you know at least i feel it's not going to be an easy thing to do to get two hundred dollars in sales consistently per day if i get two hundred dollars in sales that's probably i would say a hundred dollars in, in at least a hundred dollars in profit I, I would hope so that's my goal a hundred dollars a day in profit so two hundred dollars a day, day in sales would be a good good target area and the the thing is is to it's going to be hard to do that consistently so but it's my it's my goal for now so we'll see what happens um i mean you know here is 150 100 and, uh, 145 dollars i mean i'm getting close 
um, uh, you know, for at least hitting it one time. It's not going to be every day, but uh, it's definitely uh, uh, it's exciting because uh, the the pots and pans uh, that were that were recommended to me um, by um, Hustlin' Hooks. I mean, it is that's that's an eye opener. I mean, if we can go with large target items like that, and we can find them, we can source them. Uh, tomorrow, I'm actually meeting someone to buy two more pots and pans from, from Facebook Marketplace. Uh, I'm spending twenty dollars on them, and they're um, I think uh, uh, I can't remember the name right now, but they're one of the chef's uh, pans. They probably will sell for forty to fifty dollars each, so I can take that twenty dollars and turn it into a hundred dollars probably. So that's I'm, I mean it's just I'm gonna start hustling like they are. I'm going to start looking for these pans and different items that are high dollar profitability and see if we can't uh, scale this up. All right, let's get start grabbing these items. The um, Right here is the Strategio parts and then the pan should be right here. I just put it there last night. All right, so we um, the guy that bought it, he said, you know, I saw those uh, little bit of scratches. Those could those could maybe be buffed out, but I didn't mess with it. And uh, but he, he said I saw the scratches. He goes, I see it's been used. He said, you know, obviously he goes, I'm okay with it. So he said, sell it to me. He goes, I'm happy with the way it is. He goes, I'm not going to send it back. He goes, he's you know. So that's kind of why I was like, you know what, the guy's being honest, and he's like, you know, he's going to pay a hundred dollars with shipping. He said. He said, if I go much more than that, he can get a refurbished one. So I was like, all right, I'll sell it to him. What the heck? So, all right, so let's get those two shipped up, boxed up. I'm going to box up the other one, too. Um, I'll get that down here in a second and box it up, just have it ready to go for when they pay. So give me a minute, I'll get this boxed up. Okay, we got another order in coming in here. Uh, the Game of Life in Monstropolis. Uh, it's the Disney Pixar Monsters Life game. We sold that for eight dollars. It was an offer that came in. I accepted eight dollars plus shipping, so seventeen thirty-five. That puts us in uh, up another seventeen dollars and thirty-five cents today. So now we're at one fifty, one sixty, one sixty-seven. Uh, so one hundred sixty-seven. So not a bad haul so far. And like I said, it's just uh, it's funny how you're here getting things ready and the orders are still coming in. So there's no stop to it. You never know when it's going to come in. So here is that game. Right here, we'll go ahead and get that boxed up and ready to go. And this is the uh, fire ladder. I, I used uh, two large mailing boxes and taped them together uh, to make it uh, fit in that box. So uh, hopefully uh, they make that payment so we can uh, slap the mailing label on there and get that out tomorrow too. Well, we have another sale that came in while we're here packing up our orders. So. Um, we just had a really uh, a great record day. We just broke two hundred dollars, and we're not even um, we're not even don't even have that one uh, twenty five or thirty dollar sale thirty five dollar sale even uh, paid for yet. So really, it's gonna be like two hundred and thirty some dollars uh, if they pay um, for that order. But that'll probably go on tomorrow. So we'll probably just take that thirty dollar sale for tomorrow since they haven't paid yet, and it's. Uh, after midnight now but in eBay time this particular sale is counting towards today's today's orders so uh, $68 and 48 cents it is the uh, cassette unit that swivels around so um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, wrap that up in bubble wrap really good and get it boxed up and that was forty nine ninety nine was the sale price. Uh, that was my asking price. That was what it sold for. I even put some uh, sales out for forty four ninety nine, and, and nobody took it. Uh, but hey, someone someone came along and bought it at forty nine ninety nine, plus shipping sixty eight forty eight. So uh, record day here. Uh, two hundred over two hundred in sales. Let's go back to the chart. Two hundred dollars and fifty-eight cents, and that does not include the waiting payment for. Oops, wrong one. A waiting payment. 
uh, $30.37. So that will go towards tomorrow, most likely. Okay, cool. Excited about this. So let's go ahead and uh, get this uh, ready to ship out. Okay, so we've got four more sales here that sold um, Saturday after we shipped out our Saturday orders and then Sunday. Uh, the first one was the uh, the, the fire ladder. That actually uh, payment came through on Saturday uh, after we already shipped everything. So that's uh, right here. We're going to go ahead and get that uh, ready to go out. All right, the next item is the Sorry Yellow Replacement uh, Mover Pawn Slider Game Piece. Uh, that's in Donkey Kong. Let's go ahead and grab that. Uh, Donkey Kong right here and we need the yellow right down in here grab a yellow one okay we just I'm just selling these for a dollar fifty a piece plus shipping uh, so that's 465 that that's going out for that goes in a really you know really small padded envelope uh, basically a four by six because that way the label is the size of a mailing label so yep so we'll get that out uh, next item is a dreamtopia barbie dreamtopia princess i got that out of a storage unit that storage unit is the one that had the samurai swords and the mason jars that's already been in profit for some time so this is pure profit 6.99 uh is the price that it went out at plus uh shipping so eleven dollars and seven cents so that's in pitfall let's see that is right over here <clears throat> starting to get a little junked up again and I need to get the get this all cleaned out okay right here is the Barbie all right and the last item is the lot of uh, this is kind of funny I bought that I bought all those um, uh, little cubes they have not sold yet uh, they're um, imagine I can't remember the name of them now geez but anyways there's little uh, kids toys cubes that go with the uh, toy thing but there was two balls in there and I listed the balls for $9.99 and someone offered me $7 so we got two uh, got a, I, sec I accepted that because that was more than I paid for the whole bag of cubes and the cubes were worth a lot more than the balls and the total is eleven thirteen with shipping and that's in our Tron bin. I actually just uh, threw them in the in with the. I just threw them in here because I was running out of space, and that's where our all of our train track stuff was. All right, so they're already wrapped up and ready to go. Just need to go into a mailer. All right, so these are our four items. This one is already boxed up. That was the escape ladder. They just we were just waiting for payment. And then I'll box these two up or bag them up. Um, I'm not sure about this one. Uh, let's see how much that weighs. Uh, so it's uh, 5.6 ounces. So I'll probably put some uh, cardboard around it and put it in a, in a and then bubble wrap it, bubble wrap it, cardboard it, and then slide it into a uh, a, a mailer, poly mailer. And that'll go out first class. All right, so that's uh, that way. If the, the the cardboard around it will protect it from getting squished too much. So, all right, so let's get these all boxed up and uh, ready to go out. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, and then if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe and hit the uh, subscribe button and the bell for notifications. If you have any questions, leave some comments. We'll be glad to answer those. Thanks for watching.